I'm going to show you a neat little feature that you could use in Smart Notebook software to make your lessons and files a little more interesting. It's called hide and pull, or using pull tabs uh, on your Smart Notebook uh, pages. As you can see, I have a title page that uh, talks about a certain story we're going to be reading in class uh, this week. It tells about characters and events that are like people and events in real life, explaining what type of genre story. And then it says, in this selection, look for. But immediately, you don't see anything. Uh, that's because I had that information hidden off to the side on a pull tab. So that immediately grabs the student's attention, or you can actually have the student come up to the smart board and pull the tab out themselves. But uh, I'll do it right now. So in the selection, what are we going to look for? We're going to look for problems that could happen in real life and special words that tell about baseball. When you're done talking about that, you can simply slide the pull tab back off the screen, and once again, it's hidden. Here's another application for using pull tabs. If I have a vocabulary page, right now I don't have the, this is a closed, what we would call a closed practice. Right now you don't have the words, the vocab words that we've learned this week in the blank. Students um, are supposed to recall those. Uh, but what you can do is have a word bank hidden in a pull tab off to the side for differentiation purposes. Maybe a certain group of students will need that extra reinforcement. No problem. If you need a word bank, all you have to do is pull it out, and then you can see the six vocabulary words. If you don't need the word bank, simply slide it off to the side. Here is another application. As you can see, basically, you can hide in it. We have a spelling list for uh, spelling this week. Right now you don't see the spelling words, it's because they're hidden off to the side. And what I did there is group text with a uh, box found in the lesson activity toolkit and grouped it with a baseball also found in the gallery. And when I'm done with those spelling words, I could simply slide those out of the picture and you won't see it anymore. How do we do that? Well, the first thing you want to do is to go find yourself a pull tab. Where are we going to go for most of the things we use in Smart Notebook software? Of course, the Lesson Activity Toolkit and Gallery um, Essentials. If you look under the Lesson Activity Toolkit, you will see uh, graphics. Once you hit graphics, you will have a whole bunch of pull tabs. When I click, when I uh, hit pull tabs, you're going to have some options. Let's go get a pull tab. As you can see, Smart has given us all the different variations from uh, coming from left or right. But for our purposes, let's get a orange pull tab, something we could pull from the left-hand side of the page. When you do that, you're going to see something that says, that says ungroup and type the text here. No problem. Let's do that. We're going to ungroup it. Go to grouping. Ungroup. And now you're going to have two separate objects, this text and this pull tab. You're going to go ahead and put whatever text you like in there. You can make it larger. You can change the text. You can change the color. Make it bold. Whatever you'd like to do. Once you change your text, you're going to group it again. Whoops. I want to do that. I'm going to lock that in position. We're going to group the pull tab and the text together with your grouping option. And there you go. You now have a pull tab, just like the most original one that I showed you, that can be used for your lesson called Using Pull Tabs to Hide Information on Your Smart Notebook Software.